Good morning, Internet. This is Alex the Sudokus, and it is Tuesday, the 28th of September 2021. And we're going to tackle one of the New York Times hard Sudokus using Snyder notations, where I scan the grid for numbers. And if I have two candidates in any of the boxes for a number, I pencil mark them in. If I have, like so, with this free, I've got two candidates for the freeze. Uh, but if I have more than two candidates, like in this box for the freeze, I don't pencil mark them in. And hopefully, we'll be able to solve today's puzzle. Um, so I'm just scanning through one, two, threes. Um, looking at the fours, so the fours are pointed. Fours are locked on column eight in box three. So they must be in these two cells because they can't be on column eight anymore, otherwise there'll be nowhere for the four to go. So that forms what's called a matching pair of ones and fours. And a matching pair basically means no other numbers can go in them, or I'll have a um, single cell for both the numbers one and four, and that's just not gonna work. Um, oh yeah, if you, by the way, if you find today's video useful in any way, shape or form, please do leave a like below. It really helped the algorithm help the algorithms and um, hopefully allow me to grow my channel channel um anyway the one four pair means um there's a triple left in this box and i know the seven has to go there the eight has to go here because of that eight and therefore the remaining number which is a six has to go here so that gives me a pair of sixes over there um eight is down here now can we do anything else with the four so sometimes there's an, there'll be a naked single with the weak numbers and four is a weak number because there's only one of them. Um, weak numbers are generally numbers that don't occur too often on the grid. And um, they often can see a naked single because any cells that doesn't see the four will have to have at least four as a candidate. And any cell that doesn't see a four has that eliminated and there's a higher probability of it being a naked single where only one number can be placed inside. So, do we have anything? I'm feeling a bit skeptical because up here I've got the twos in these two cells and there are at least nines in there. Because, um, yeah, we have no, no, oh, I have a nine here. So, one, one, three, four, we're missing a five now. I've got six, seven, eight, and nine. So, this is a two and five. So I've got two, five, nine, triple on this column, and I can't resolve them. So I'm going to move on, unless I have a look on this row. This is what, oh, I've got a one. In fact, these two cells are, are matching pairs as well because of the one and four. So these are twos and fives. Alas, I cannot solve it. So I'm skeptical. I'm going to have a naked single with this four. Unless it's in here now. Oh no, there's a five here now. Twos and five can't go in this cell. So this is a naked nine because the twos and fives are up top and they are solvable because of the five. So we have on a bingo card officially a naked single and it was indeed visible to the weak number. So I'm going to reward myself by allowing myself to blow my nose. So one moment, please. So now with the nine in place, I've got triple here, which are three, six and something. Well, three and six oversees this cell. So this cell must be something. So what number is missing? Seven is missing here. So these on the other hand are threes and sixes. And I've got triple up top, which is one, nine and four, one, four, nine. Okay. So with that, I'm going to move on and look at the fives. Got a pair of fives over there. Five, fives are here. And I think that's all the fives I can pencil in. Sixes. Sixes are not being very inspiring, I must say. Sevens. Sevens are locked in these two cells. Eight, 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 eight. Do, do, do. Nothing on eight, 
9. I have a pointing pair of 9s here because of this 9 and that 9. So that resolves a 9 in here, giving me a 1-4 pair. Oops, didn't mean to pencil anything in. 1-4 pair. 9 is also locked in this cell because of row 7 and 9 taken and column 1 taken, leaving me column 3. So that unlocks on yet another 9. Another pair of 9s. So this is forming a 3-9 matching pair and all the 9s are pencil marked in. Okay, so we've done a scan of the grit and um, we can probably look at um, the weak areas now. So the first thing, on, on, first thing I want to look at is this row because there are three numbers left on this row and they're one, five and four. I've got five here, so that's one and four. Mm. Well, I'm tired. Um, we can't resolve the one, five and four. Unfortunately, one, four, five. So this is one, four, five, seven, and eight. Oh, there's a pair of eights here now because of the, no oops, eights, not nine. Pair of eights there, so they're pointed, which means there's another pair of eights there. Oh, I'm feeling a bit cold. I'm going to shut the door. One moment, please. There we go. Yeah, I left the window open last night, and my bedroom is actually 19 degrees Celsius. It could actually be colder, you know because I have a suspicion that my thermometer is actually not calibrated correctly. Okay, so 1, 4, 6, and 8 is on this row. I'm not going to find anything like that useful. And I know that because of the 3 and 9, which means 3 and 9 are out of play. There are 4 or other numbers can't go into 3 and 9. So there are 4 numbers left, and they're 1, 4, 6, and 8 based on the pencil markings that I've got. And this is 1, 4, 7, and 8. Uh, also not useful. So, any more weak areas? What about here? We have 4, 6, 7, and 8. 4, 6, 7, 8. Can't solve it. Good morning, Ari. How are you today? Um, what are these? These are 2, 4, 2, 4, and 5. I've got 5 here. So, 5 there. So, this is a 5 because the 5 can't go in these two cells. So, these are now 2s and 4s, which are resolvable because of the 2. That gives me an extra four to play with. So let's oops, pencil mark in the fours. Twos are over here now. And can't see anything else of it. Four, five. What about a five? Yes, the five unlocks a five over here. And we have not unlocked all the fives yet. What about two? Oh, we've already looked at the two, haven't we? So one's up here now. Uh, you're sleepy. <laughs> what time is it where you are, Eri? Probably 3 a.m., right? I'm not too bad. I'm quite, I'm a little bit sleepy as well. But I'm waking up sleepy, not um, about to go to bed sleepy. Um, okay, any more weak areas we can attack? We've got 391 and 137 and 9. I've got 7 and 9 there. So this is, oh, I've got one, seven, and nine here. So that's another naked single on this column. On the column, I'm looking for one, three, seven, and nine. I saw the one, three, and nine from the pencils, and I just had to check what other numbers are missing, and it was a seven. And since I can see one, seven, and nine here, I know where that goes. So that unlocks the three and the nine, which unlocks the nine over there, and that leaves me one and seven, which I cannot resolve. Oh, no, yes, I can. I've got one there, so one... It's down here, seven is up here, pair sevens. So that leaves me a two, six, seven triple in this box. I'm gonna pencil mark them in. When there's a triple left in a box, I like to pencil mark them in. Coming on to, coming up to eight. Oh, so you are in the same time zone as me. So you are sleep, you are waking up sleepy as well. Never mind. <laughs> Did I ever mention that I have terrible memory? Um, I'm forgetful. It's great. I'm going to... I think I mentioned I forget for that is one of them. I've not used that in a while. I've not used that in a while. Um, these are two, four, two, four, six, and eight. Uh, it's okay. I forget about two. <laughs> oh. Blessed are the forgetful. Um, I can't remember the entire quote by Alexander Pope, but... Um, I heard it from the film Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, my favourite film of all time. Anyway, we've got three five matching pair there because 
Three can't go here, here, or here. So the threes have to be locked in there. And again, we've got a pair of threes and fives, unlocking the two. So with that, I've got another point, a pair of twos. Oh, in fact, this can't be a two anyway. So, um, so I think all the twos are now pencil marked in, and these are now eight, six, and four, six, and eight. I don't love it. Also, this is one in four on the row, and this is one, four, six, and eight. Yeah, it's gonna be one, four, six, and eight, isn't it? Um, hmm. I suppose the ones are now locked in these two cells. So, what am I looking for in this box? One, seven, eight. Missing four and six. So four and six can go there. That is annoying. That is indeed annoying. Um, this is missing one and four again. So that's a one, four pair. One, four, six, and... Oh, we've got a four there. One, four, six, and seven. So this is one and seven. This is not actually that helpful. So I'm actually going to look around the grid. Oh, there we go. We've got a matching pair. We've got a pair of ones there. So that forms an X-wing of ones. So we have an X-wing, meaning this is the only place the one can go. Therefore, this is a four. And if that's a four, that's a pointing pair. There's a matching, yeah, pointing pair of fours. Um, these are fours remaining. This is six and four. So that's a four, six, eight, triple here, which means these are, this cannot be a four anymore because I've got four and six here. So four, six, and eight must be in these three cells. It is a hidden triple. Do we have a hidden triple? Hidden triple. There we go. I suppose it's a naked triple, but it's kind of hidden. Um, so that's solved another four, which tells me the force on these cells. Might as well, oops, might as well pencil mark these in. Can I restrict the six? Six can go here. Six are pointed actually, so these are where the sixes go. Okay, okay. And I'm missing the eight in here. Which is another triple. We're going to pencil mark them in. Um, so, four, six, and eight leaves me three, five, and one, three, and five. I've got one there. One, three, and five. God damn it. But it does tell me this is the only place the one can go. So, this is three and five. Three and five can go, can't go there. So, that must be a seven. With the other two cells being threes and fives. So I've got three, five matching pair, three, five matching pair. The one is also eliminated from there, giving me the eight, which means the eight goes there. So four, six, one, and four, four are resolved. Uh, this also tells me that's a seven. So these are fours and sixes. Okay. I think, I think. I am okay with this. Uh, what I'm not okay with is not being able to see what the next step is because I should be able to solve this puzzle by now. Um, two, six, seven on, oh no, these, these can't be sixes anymore. Oops. So that's a six. So two and seven tells me this can't be a seven. So that solves a seven and a one, one and four, four, six and eight, which means six and four, unlike so. So what is this? This is an eight. Uh, two and seven are resolved anyway because of that seven. So three and five, three and five. Oh, okay. Six resolves the three and the six. So that solves the five, three, three, five, and the two and five. And that's today's New York Times hard Sudoku using Snyder notations. Um, again, if you find it useful, please leave a like below. And um, and if you solve this in a different way than I did, please leave a comment below. And if you want to invite me over to do Sudokus with you on pen and paper, leave a subscription below um, if you haven't already. It's an open invitation that I may take on if I'm free and there's no COVID about. So I will see you later until then. Um, also, don't forget I stream these on um, Twitch. Link below. Come hang out. I'll be doing the mini crosswords. Genuinely accessible, genuinely accessible Sudoku on the Crack and a Cryptic Discord server and the Spelling Bees. So come back out. 
See you soon. Bye.